Hey guys, and oh, I should I shouldn't be this this hype, should I? No, get hype. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to Let's Play tonight. This is Josh. This is Megan, uh, Sarah, Ross, uh, and Sophia. <laughs> I don't know why. Barely. <laughs> um, and uh, we're playing Monster Prom. Um, so some of you guys have seen this floating around on the internet, and it looked really super fun. You can find it on Steam. Um, so we're going to play it out for you guys today, and I hope it's as entertaining as some of the gameplay I've already seen of it. So uh, we got four of us. Sophia and I have morphed into one beautiful body. Yes, because... Let's, let's oh, how long do you guys want to play this? <laughs> Holy shit. There's a short, a short game, game, a, game is and a, 90 minutes. And a full game is two hours. Full game. <laughs> but let's go. All, All right. right. Yeah, dude. All right. Go, go big or go, go home. Uh, spooky guys... high school. The sweetest years of our lives. You, oh, you just you, continue you to You guys missed terrible. the important thing about, like, wh why we're playing game this morning. Mm. Oh, <laughs> We're hungover as hell, y'all. <laughs> it's so bad. This, this will, it's if, so if bad. If this comes out in the order that it should, you should have seen our drunken escapades a little while ago, and this is the morning afterward. <laughs> uh, although we have given ourselves, like, probably four or five hours after waking up to attempt to get back to just civilized behavior. That to is be also fair, fair. I've been up Maybe for Maybe like... some of you. I've been up for, like, two hours. <laughs> well, you've been up for two hours. I've been up for seven, so. Yeah, no. Sophia's hanging in there like a champ. Barely there. Um, really? You know what? It was I'm hanging in like a bitch, guys. <laughs> it was a super fun night, and I regret nothing. No regrets. Um, no regrets? What are regrets? <laughs> no regrets, guys. Have you not oh, seen? Oh, oh, rag, rag yeah, rats. R-A. No, no yeah, rag, rag rats. Yeah. Rag oh, I thought you said rug rats. Get that tattooed on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, no, no rug, rug rats, rats either. Uh, okay, so back then we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always living, to, willing to live life to the fullest. Are they explaining last night to us? <laughs> <laughs> we were on a wild journey to discover who we really this were. Is, is player time. one. Okay, so Josh will be player one. Oh, who fuck yeah, give, give me be? fire girl. Oh, yeah. Damn. She, she's sexy. So I wanted fire girl. All right, your uh, yo. I get to pick my pronouns. Yes, you do. So yo, that's what, super dope. What's this? What game, is your though? name? You can either do red, Amira, Actually, or Actually, I custom like Amira. Name. We're okay. gonna keep Amira. That is a really so, and we're gonna keep that with the sheet. Okay. Definitely a woman. I'm so player cool two, and uh, Sophia. I will let you pick. Who are we? Are we? Can uh, we be the adorable chibi zombie girl? Absolutely. She is beautiful. Okay. Do you want to name her Vicky or something else? What do you think? Um, I kind of want to name her like something ridiculous. Yes. Snuggle muffin. No, it's gonna be rug rat. No yeah. rug rug rats. Yeah, no, no rug rat. Is it, is it rag rat or rug rat? No, it's rug rat. It's yeah, rug rat. Okay, sorry. I'm Everyone really calls her ruggy for short. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And uh, keep pronoun she. Yeah, I'm cool with she. All right. I mean, we're both she's. I think. All right, <laughs> Sarah. It's all up to you. This guy looks like freaking posh over here in the corner. All right, and his name Oz. Oz for sure. Oz is That's good. beautiful. What's That's the option solid. for pronouns? He, she, they. Nice. I feel like, I feel like Oz would want a they. would would want they like they do not really associate with any gender because they're like too fly for each side. I understand. <laughs> All right, Ross, that makes you uh, like really hip zombie guy. Yeah. All right. You're the zombie jock. Let's uh, see his name option. Brian. Brian. <laughs> I really wish his name, name was Brain. I feel like Brain yeah, was a really it. missed joke there. Well, no. I think that's maybe it, why I they think went with it's Brian. It's just like one away. Was, yeah. Uh, Do you want a custom? Well, I was kind of thinking Joey. Joey, yeah. Okay, does it type or do you? I don't know. Try typing. Yeah, that might go faster. Oh, it does. It typed the whole time. So I got a confession to make. This is a computer. So in my job, I do. Okay. I do a lot of recording of information, and sometimes when I need to type Brian, I type Brain. All the time. All the time. And it doesn't help that. It's medical records that I do, and so they'll be <laughs> it's just like, super confusing. especially if it's like, oh, um, like cancer of the brain or something like that. Cancer, cancer of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh god, did I do that? White out, white out. Or should be like tapping up a name and be like brain yeah. white or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you have to write all of your stuff out into those I have to type books, everything, right? and then I have to write everything. Do you that think that anyone's awful. ever been, like, denied for something because you accidentally wrote brain, and they're like, that's not who this is. No, you because can't do I it fix now. it, because oh. I actually proofread. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike me. Speaking okay. of people that are afraid, they had to experience the ultimate challenge, the monster prom. The monster prom. I remember it clearly. Look Three weeks to the left. Look at style like a fucking badass. <laughs> He's my fire hair. Oh, my God. I love this character. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Oh, wait, that's not me. No, Miranda no. Vanderbilt, oh God, 19. So a sweet mermaid princess who was just as cute as she was genocidal. That's surprising. <laughs> Damien LaVey, 21. Why are these what? people in high school? A fearless this demon monster high with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Oh, that's Ooh. my guy. That's, I, was that's, like, I already know. I already know. Marvel. Scott Howell. A werewolf athlete, athlete who compensated for his rather small brain and stupidity with his huge heart. Aww. Liam de Lioncourt, for what? Four XX. He's a vampire. Oh, okay. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Geist, that she is my absolute bae before anyone else. Okay, Polygeist? she's a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. That sounds like oh you. My. Yeah, and uh, Vera Oberlin, twenty-three, a mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense for business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? All right, so three weeks left to choose your prom date. And three weeks left to woo them. Uh, we were so young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I'm so hyped for this. Welcome to the Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. <laughs> All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose <laughs> which kind of deviant sicko you are. This is fantastic. <laughs> stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. That's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. That is really cool. Okay, so if you could put a curse on your worst enemy, what would it do? So this is Josh. You can't rely on the effectiveness of a curse. I prefer to take care of my enemies the old-fashioned way by exposing them. Uh, I'd curse them uh, to fall in love with a wonderful person and be happily married for years before they realize that all this time their partner was a wild panther in disguise. <laughs> I said, oh, hey, honey, there's something you need to know. I'm in the corner. The curse of always meeting obnoxious people at parties who are stupid into new fad diets that feel the need to explain them in detail. Nice. I got a feeling... Shit, man. Both both the second and third options are really good. Yeah. Oh. Really good. The first I like how this is radiation. I, I still love the panther in disguise. I know, right? like, Classic. It's I love, just like... I love how it's up there in the corner. I know. Like, yeah. that, that's the thing that makes... I'm picking the second option, but okay. that's what makes it win. But, but I would have picked the third one, but like, that, hey, honey, there's something you need to know. It's just far too good. Okay. Too good. So this is us. Okay. Uh, what would we pick, Sophia? Uh, the, exposing them to doses of radiation or um, the curse of always meeting obnoxious people. I, I mean, mean, we can, you can still you can pick the same we can one. still pick the same one, but I'm I'm kind of leaning I'm, towards fad diets I'm, because it's I, just I'm leaning towards fad diets because one, my mother oh, is super God. into fad diets. <laughs> she really so is. So like you know how so, annoying it so is. So I know how annoying it is. It's terrible. And if I have to deal with it. I want my worst enemy to deal with it. All the, the time. I also love the fact that it's just like small enough doses to constantly keep them irritated, but not enough to like put them in a hospital yeah, yeah. or like, it's like harm it's them. Not, it's not harming them. It's the perfect amount. Oh, okay. So no, Sarah was like, she's Sarah's pick. ready. She's a pig. She did. Uh, we'll go with you. Your turn, Brain. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that, Ross. All right. So, so smart, smart. So bold. So, so charming. charming. <laughs> All right, radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? Uh, writing fan fiction? That's totally me. I'm sorry. We'll fight you on that one, Sophia. <laughs> no, no. Look at the picture. That's Sailor Moon with with the Harry, Harry Potter, Potter and, and a gun. And look at her hair. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the Death Star behind her. Oh my god. Yes, I we're doing love it. that, but sorry, Josh, you can go ahead and yeah. read yours. Always choosing the right combo of emojis to get the desired action reaction from people, or uh, probably rabies. I'd go to the hospital. That's Ross. Uh, I'm going to go with the emojis. <laughs> emojis? Okay. <laughs> we already have ours. Sarah? Um, what does Oz want? Mine will be probably emojis as well. 
No, that's definitely Ross's uh, probably rabies. <laughs> Don't even lie. It's so true. Right. He's sitting there just shaking his head. Yes. So, yes, um, is. in college... So creative, so charming. So <laughs> in, in college, Ross was bitten by Ooh, a bat this... and had to get rabies shot. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was second day of sophomore year. Yeah. School hadn't even started yet. <laughs> what criteria would you use to name your children? Oh, non heteronormative. Just, swear word. just, just <laughs> to give them fe- freedom to define too. themselves. Something simple and friendly, like Bobby, Ew, or Mary. So, Meh, no um, name. Just um, go. Too much work. I'm gonna go with that that first option right there. Heteronormative. Yeah. And then I will. I'm gonna name you- my kids. <sighs> no, wait, <laughs> Josh. What? You should have done. I will research for a name that is pun proof and, and joke, joke proof. proof. No, no one, one will <laughs> pick on them. No, fucking, no. Um, I, I don't want I that want name my for kids. me. Oh. Like, no, my, my kids are gonna live through that, like yeah. I did. I definitely <laughs> want my kids to live through that because I just find it entertaining, and I'm going to pick a name that purposely is a pun so no, that why, I can also would, do it. Why would you? Um, yeah. I have why to have some fun in my it? life. Okay. Hey, wait. So regrets should have lots of regrets, shouldn't they? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, just saying for the very oh, last option of my name plus the second, I'm just, I hate Rug it when, rat, I, rat junior, I hate when, rat the third. I hate when people do that because it's just like, I don't, like, am I talking to you or your father or, or your grandfather? grandfather? Like everyone, just swear everyone from where I kind of just want to name my kid like, little shit. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's what it's you know what? is eventually going to be. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we might as well start from the beginning. Do you want the heteronormative that gives them the freedom to define themselves on their own terms? I or just do, a swear word? But Rugrat, oh, we remember, have to remember, it's not us, it's Rugrat. Would oh, she just true. want a swear word? I don't know if she'd want a swear word. Maybe she wants my name the second. Cause she I actually like, kind of think that Rugrat, Rug, Rugrat would be, she'd yeah. want another Rugrat. Yeah, I mean, it's such so a So I wonder if they name. count the two hours, does it include <laughs> creating yeah, the character? Yeah, creating the character, yes. <laughs> It's just an entire D and D campaign like, of the like character like creation. Name, yeah, <laughs> or Truth. like any RPG ever. Yeah, um, it's like Rug or Oz. Like they, he just seems real. They, they, really laid they back. yeah, they don't really even want to put that work. Uh, something simple and friendly. Joe Oh, it tells oh. you who likes oh. it. Who, oh, I, didn't oh, see I wasn't it. paying attention. I didn't pay attention. I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh, that's me. She already loves. Um, excuse. <laughs> Good to know. We're going to see the recording and be like, shit. All right, Amira is starting us off. Do you want to go to the auditorium, class, library, outdoors, gym, or the bathroom? Right, look at my stats. Uh, I, how am I no fun? You're just medium fun. Yeah. Where the fuck is my fun, dude? You're so bold, though. Well, you yeah. got to go somewhere fun, then. Where, what, what sounds fun to you? You're just so fiery that people are intimidated Char- by you. Yeah. You're charming and bold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what you that's need. That's great traits. Yeah, that's well, great. yeah, because I'm that in real life. Um, <laughs> let's fucking let's go. And no fun, apparently. Let's go to the bathrooms. <laughs> oh, are you gonna? You're gonna drugs? go smoking in the bathroom. <laughs> smoking in the bathroom. That's it. That, 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 that is. That is what oh she's doing. <laughs> yes, because you respect no authority. Some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Oh shite! Solid. You're so bold. Miranda's trying to put a smile on Liam's face. This should be good. Ooh, I want to do one. Okay, you do a voice for Miranda. You have to stick with her the whole time, though. Like, not, like, date her, but, like, you have to do her voice. Okay. You're ready. I simply do not understand how you can be so gloomy all the time when the world is so full of wonderful wonder and magic. All right, Ross, you want to take Liam? Sure. Ah, I guess I'm just not part of the Everything is Beautiful Club. The Everything is Beautiful Club? Is that... A secret club? What? Oh, yeah, totally. (laughs) I want to join! I want to join! Oh, how can I join? Liam seems totally sexily disinterested in continuing this gag, but you have no such reservations. You tell her, you're in luck, I just happen to have a membership paperwork right here. Magic is real. Or, oh, it's super easy to join. All you have to do is eat a bunch of cotton candy and crap out a unicorn, simpleton. (laughs) Well, I, I'm not... (laughs) I told myself that I'm not, like, originally this fucking mermaid lady was, was going to be my bae uh-huh. until I found who my actual bae is going to be. So, we're going to call her a simpleton. Okay. Fuck, fuck this bitch. All right. Fuck this bitch, he's out. Zero shit. Really? Yeah, that's exactly what the bullshit fairy told me when we were playing checkers the other night. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. That's all? Just those two things? <laughs> 
No. You also got to write gullible across your forehead in permanent marker. Okay! <laughs> Wait, seriously? But Miranda's already gone. When you see her the next day, she's leading a unicorn and smiling from ear to ear. I did it! The Everything is Beautiful Club let me in! I had to fill out some extra paperwork because I had my manservant eat the cotton candy and poop out the unicorn. But I made up for it by tattooing gullible on his forehead instead of writing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you're welcome. Liam winks at you, and the wink is so cool, you automatically gain two fun and one charm. Yes! <laughs> nice! Nice! Right. Let's okay, go! So let's see what we are. We're smart set six, boldness five. You had no fun Our either. fun is at three! Wait, you're you're less fun than Josh! You. You're less fun than I am. But look this at This is not look right. At, look this at the is, creativity. No, this you want to know right. why this is it? Because we decided instead of a cuss word for a name, we decided we to, decided do, to the, do the second. second. Okay, where do we want to go? Um, what's fun? Because we got to gain fun. Let's go to this tree that looks like it's on like rainbow fire. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Rainbow fire. Oh, oh yeah. during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. It was so quick. Someone summons <laughs> demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's, it's a, rad a rad party. party. You gain too much! <laughs> After that, you engage in a deadly match of truth, dare, or death with, with Polly. Polly. With Polly. Uh, that would be a su- yes. yes. That would be a super Polly. interesting event to cover. All right, don't fuck up this boy, Sophia. Okay, well, right. this is what, what type? About. What type of personality does she have again? Um, she really likes to party and do drugs. Okay, so should I do like a cool voice? She needs to be the coolest. Okay, okay, I'll try. But then the two of you spot Miranda and Liam. Fuck! I don't want to talk to them again. Deep in an intense conversation that's oh. bound to be much more interesting. So this is this is you. Hey, babes. Were you making quite a noise? And I love anything that has makes quite a noise. What's up? Hey, you two. Miranda and I were having a creative disagreement. You see, we wanted to start our own school club. You know, an intellectually rewarding extracurricular that enriches our minds while probably not being mentioned ever again in the future because <laughs> continuity at this school seems to be a bit <laughs> random. Noise! Let's do it. Y'all know my fave thing in the world. Drugs. Sexual activities? Noise. No dummies. That too. But I'm in chess and Russian literature. Stop teasing me if I were two-dimensional. Nice. Let's start a literature club. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club? Oh sure. my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this took such a deep spiral downward! Do, do you remember what happened last year when we joined the Literature Club? Everyone died! <laughs> we wrote dope poems and made new friends? No, the other thing. Is this really Ah, oh, fuck yes, that's right. So weird, I almost forgot. I mean, that's how I died, you know. Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> it's Doki Doki Literature Club 2.0! Anyway, the thing Polly is... was in Doki Doki! Anyway, thing is... Guys, Polly was Sayori! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> now she's even more bae, okay? Sorry, continue, Ross, I mean Liam. I propose we start the club club. A delightful meta club where we enjoy ourselves by designing and crafting new school clubs. Boring! I proposed we do the Little Pony Sweet Dreams Club, a club where we would spend our nights learning how to tell the right bedtime stories to ponies! Whoa, you two really know how to sound two-dimensional. But in any case, can't you both just do your own clubs? No. Our lives are fueled by the conflict and confrontation that can only be solved by choosing the two options. That's, That's why we need to, you to choose which club is the best one. Because Rugrat always seems to choose based on who she wants to ask to prom. It's true. It is it's true. true, I do. So, which one should we go for? Just remember, one of the ideas includes ponies! Hmm, a tough choice. Mostly because I'm, like, super drunk right now. <laughs> A tough choice indeed. It's your opportunity to convince Polly of one of the options because no one is preventing you from making choices based on who you want to ask to prom. <laughs> I don't. I want to ask Polly though. I don't want to ask Liam or Miranda. Well, here's the thing. Like, I think what you're you're choosing which one Polly's gonna go for. Uh, so definitely I, I think... the pony one. Mm-hmm. The pony ones at night, so technically it counts as a nightclub. 
The best club is clearly club club because, and then throw some confetti. Although that sounds like I'm just fucking high and I don't care at all. I'm like, just, here's some confetti I found in my pocket. So is it ultimately like you have the ending factor, but you guys like negotiate on stuff? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll hit the button, but like I want Sophia to feel involved because we are mm-hmm. one. We are yeah. one oh, soul now. Yes. I mean, they are like actually morphed together right now, guys. Like it's true. It's, it's kind of gross, actually. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's a lot of skin sewing that's been done, and it's kind of irreparable. Yeah, we've only been at this for like four hours. Like, we, we made a lot of progress today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I say that the pony one because it involves a nightclub. All right, let's do it. Oh, good. Po- oh, that's Wait, you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> point regret. I do like li- nightclubs. You do realize it would be nothing like an actual nightclub, right? Are you sure? Have you been to this Little Pony Sweet Dreams nightclub? No, but... Less butts, and more butts, too. (laughs) Pony butts. (laughs) Ponies have majestic buttocks, indeed! (laughs) Whoa. Now I need to see it myself. I hope they know how to shake those (laughs) pony asses. This game is amazing. I have no idea what's happening! (laughs) Neither do any of us. The only thing I understand is that my proposal has won, and that's the only thing that matters. Huzzah! Rugrat, it might be true you only make choices based on who you want to go ask to prom, but if that's true, you're off to a good start. I'm not asking you. We don't you. Fuck you. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> you can't wait to tell rad bedtime stories to ponies alongside Miranda. Meanwhile, you gain two charm and one smarts. All right, Oz. Oh, yes, that's me. Yeah, that's a really weird, like, icon he had there. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Oh, so, like, I can go. Yeah, that's once, cool. Okay. Now, it's just this week. Next week, it'll, like, reset, and you can start over. Okay, again. I feel like Oz would just, like, go to the library Here, and chill out. check out his stats, though. Oh, yeah, what are my stats? So, your creativity is real low. Yeah. But everything else is pretty high. So. Except for fun. Wait, did you guys just see Yes, I stats? saw your smarts, <laughs> Ross. Shut up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go, go back to it. I didn't see it. How do you. You go and put your little mouse over your thing again? Over your Right, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> 11? What the, what the hell? <laughs> I was trying to make him dumb. Appar- Which are no fun. Apparently, he rolled a d20 for smarts. Like, oh, hey, okay, look. It will tell you what you will gain. Oh, that's cool. Holy. Yeah. I want to gain some money. Oh. Wait, you get money at the library, not smarts? Uh, well, let's try it. Okay, so I need funds, but funds has already been taken, so... What else do you need? Um, Fun or creativity? Creativity, and that's the auditorium? Sorry, yeah, so let's do auditorium. I feel like that's so against Oz, though. Maybe he's just going to observe and, like... Well, here's the thing. Like, are, are, are you sure you want to up your creativity and make your stats more even, or do you want to work at what you're best at? Yeah, yeah like gonna, your yeah. boldness or something. Yeah. No, you can't do boldness because... Let's just go to the library, because I feel like he would literally just chill in the library. Okay. Or they. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They. It's okay. They would... Oh, God. Hey, hey there, cutie pie. I found your pro, pro, oh, pro, profile. Yeah. Let's chat. Oh, God. <laughs> that day you spend some time in the library PC sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Now I know why you get your money. Oh, my God. What? It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose 10 karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you uh, gain two money. Okay. I was like, <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, I had zero fucks, which I'm, pre- I'm assuming also isn't a stat. Yeah. yeah. Like, fucks. Uh, without meaning to, you find yourself in conversation with Polly and Miranda comparing the apps on your phones. Oh, what you she got, changed. Miri? She what you got? Right now. Yeah. Well, I have this game called Misunderstanding of Mobs, and I'm not entirely sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. I also got Scepter, or Scepter, <laughs> sorry, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. Okay. <laughs> And Spooner, which is like grinder, but for silverware. You know, I like my apps elegant and majestic. That's pretty cool. But have you heard of Rap Chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. Wow! What about you, Oz? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impress us with something rad. Uh, your options are Tiger, an app that can make tigers appear what? anywhere. There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Or what? No, the second option is much more awesome. <laughs> Not much, just this one app I made that turns my phone into a rad car. <laughs> T- 
did they just oh that's you i spoke for you i apologize yeah i got excited did, i don't think they are going over this well i know they just hit their phone behind their back made a whooshing noise and then pointed to the car in the parking oh, lot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought your phone would actually turn into a car given how ridiculous everything else would have been. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That is what I thought happened. But it seems so foolish that I assumed it must be mistaken. Nope. They really are that stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find somebody to help me steal that sweet car you pointed at. Polly totally does steal that sweet car and frames you for it. Yet another crime to expunge from your record. You lose two boldness and one fun. Oh, no. Oh, oh, poor Oz is going oh. down. Fuck me. I'm so sorry. But you All did right. get a heart from Polly. Oh, but you true. better stay away. So, yeah. The auditorium was <laughs> the auditorium was creativity. So, m- Class was smart. It shows you. If you yeah. Mask, yep. And the gym was charm. 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 I believe that's charm. Charm. Okay. I think I need to get his charm up. All right. Going to the gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. Or an you gain plus character. two charm. <laughs> Afterwards, you notice Scott huddled next to Vera. This is, this is the first time you've even seen these characters. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Polly and everybody else has been in literally every. Polly and Miranda everywhere. Yeah. Um, these two hardly ever hang out, so you wonder what's mm-hmm. up. Scott seems to be showing Vera some kind of sports diagram. Do you want to be Scott? Or sure. Do you want me I mean, to be I, I haven't. I haven't been anybody else. Like, okay. So. But we keep losing football games over and over. Coach says we're not sporting hard enough, but I'm sporting as hard as I can. I figured, since you're super smart and everything, maybe you could... Fix your entire team in ten minutes? Well, obviously I can do that. I'm incredible. Listen, what you need is an oblique strategy, a new technique that your opponents won't expect, like poison darts or a vicious campaign of psychological warfare or... or... Now's your chance to impress them. Jump in with an idea that will show them how much you know about winning sports. Uh, what you guys need... Blackmail material. Or a player who's really a truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'll go with the first one. That's brilliant. It is? Yes, it is. Awesome! And what's more, I already have the infrastructure in place to accomplish this. Wait, infrastructure? What are you talking about? (laughs) Nothing, nothing. I definitely haven't planted cameras in the men's locker room, and I'm definitely not selling them to compromisinglockerroomnudes.com as a side business, that's for sure. Oh, that's good. Because if you were, that would be super mean. Indeed. Looks like you solved the problem and stumbled into Vera's underground porn empire. Nice! (laughs) You gained plus two smarts and plus one creativity. Look at the most smarts. Look at my I, let's trade places. Everyone chooses a food. Say your food out loud so the rest of the players know before clicking. So we can't click anything. So Josh, choose a food. Uh, chicken. Tacos. Spaghetti. Mac and cheese. Uh, you okay with tacos, Sophia? Because like I just kind of did it. Yeah, okay. tacos is good. As long as it doesn't have tomatoes, I'm good. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how powerful an energy drink whose key ingredient is the selected food would be. Start debating now. Well, it's not <laughs> fucking chicken, I'll tell you. That. So. Okay. Oh. Tacos, definitely, because they have spice to it. So it really kicks in the energy. Well, hang Plus, on, you hang can on. Put what, a what ton happens of toppings like on tacos? We have spicy chicken, dude. Okay, yeah, but, but you, you just said spicy chicken. chicken. You just I said, said a taco. So I'm trying, I'm chicken. Hey, wait. Yeah, Amira, you're out. Okay. What? Russ, you are like fucking last. Cheese or cheese or um, pasta. You're fucking last, babe, because you're fucking mac and cheese. (laughs) They give that to five year olds because five year olds don't need energy. Okay. I I will admit, when I eat an entire box of mac and cheese, I just want to go to sleep. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. You're like dead last. At least I have some sort of protein. Um, so... What was yours? While we debate this, guys, we're going to go ahead and say next episode. And uh, when we come back, you'll find out who wins. Or we'll continue debating. I'm not sure oh, what we'll true. do. But we'll do something or on something. the next episode. Of Let's Play Tonight. Bye, guys. See you in the next Bye. Bye.